Have you ever wanted to dip your toes into the vast pool of Greek mythology? Then worry not, dear friends, because today we bring you a list of the most incredible and jaw-dropping movies that retell Greek myths and legends in the most astonishing way possible. Reading dusty old history books has become old news, folks. Get ready to uncover the history of one of the most influential civilizations of the past through the most beloved and critically acclaimed films starring a variety of big names. So strap on your swords, grab your goblets, and let's toast to an exciting experience on our journey to uncover these historical Hollywood gems. But before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. This is Sparta! 300, 2006. Forget everything you think you know about ancient Greece, because 300 is about to Sparta kick your brain into a whole new dimension. This movie throws historical accuracy entirely out the window. It's all about over-the-top action, ripped abs, and enough slow-motion sword fights to make us dizzy. The plot centers on 300 buff men led by Gerard Butler as King Leonidas, who have been tasked to take on an entire Persian army that makes gigantic seem like an understatement. Sure, historians might scoff at the crazy costumes and ridiculous fight scenes, but this isn't really a documentary. It's pure adrenaline-pumping fun based on a graphic novel, not some history textbook. Director Zack Snyder basically admits he went for an epic fantasy feel over real life, and honestly, good on him. All in all, 300 is less of a history lesson and more of a battle royale. So be warned, don't expect this movie to teach you anything accurate about ancient Greece. Greece. Jason and the Argonauts, 1963. Many people regard Jason and the Argonauts as the OG film from classic Greek mythology. The movie follows the journey of Jason, our courageous main character, as he embarks on an adventure to reclaim the throne that is rightfully his. To do so, he needs to obtain the Golden Fleece, a magical sheep's skin guarded by the most dangerous creatures you can think of. But Jason doesn't set off on this mission all by himself. He's accompanied by a team of the bravest warriors in ancient Greece. Their journey takes them through vast seas and into battles with the deadliest of monsters only heard of in myths and legends. For those of you with a passion for history, this movie is like Greek Mythology 101. It has the most incredible action sequences and showcases the who's who from Greek mythology. Another noteworthy aspect of the film are the truly astonishing special effects. When it was first released, it represented a milestone for its time, all thanks to Ray Harryhausen. His technique of stop-motion animation gave all the mystical creatures and magical monsters a very realistic appearance, one that's impressive even by today's standards. Sometimes the story might seem somewhat predictable, but the excellent acting and Harryhausen's amazing special effects will definitely keep you hooked all the way to the end. The good. The evil. The Clash of the Titans, 1981. Clash of the Titans is widely considered as one of the top films of all time when it comes to Greek mythology. It stars Perseus, the ruggedly handsome demigod who inspired Percy Jackson. The movie was released in 1981, and it tells us the tale of this son of Zeus. To earn the respect of those on Mount Olympus, he needs to show them his worth by completing a set of challenges, like defeating the lethal Medusa, facing a huge kraken creature, and saving Princess Andromeda. The movie is not only about monsters and myths, even though it includes plenty of those too. It's a wonderful rendition of the classic story, and having seasoned actors such as Laurence Olivier and Maggie Smith makes it all the better. When the film came out, Ray Harryhausen's special effects were seen as quite modern due to his realistic stop-motion animation methods. Clash of the Titans also does a great job of depicting a number of Greek gods and goddesses, making them seem larger than life and more than just soulless immortals. It's no surprise that this movie set the standard for the adaptation of Greek myths into films, inspiring many other stories and even a remake in 2010. If you're looking for an old-timey classic with scary beasts, formidable battles, and a little bit of a love story, Clash of the Titans might be right up your alley. Star Wars, 
Spartacus. Spartacus is a 1960s flick that is a bit of a controversial classic. Even though Stanley Kubrick, the director, practically disowned the film, this story of a rebellious slave who battles bravely against the Roman Empire has secured its rightful place in Hollywood's Hall of Fame. Kirk Douglas plays the role of our hero Spartacus, a man from Thracia who is forced to fight as a gladiator. However, he doesn't give in to this miserable fate. He bravely gathers the other slaves, breaks free from the clutches of his masters, and leads the ultimate rebellion against the corrupt rulers of Rome. And here's a spoiler for those of you who are interested. Although Spartacus is crucified at the very end, he learns that his wife and child have been set free, making the ending a bittersweet one. And yeah, we know it's not exactly a true story and plays out more like an American drama than a history lesson. Even then, Spartacus is worth a watch just for its incredible fight scenes and tragic romance. It also gets bonus points for the historically accurate costume design. And although some people could think it's overly idealized, we believe that's just another part of its appeal. Just don't forget to put your history textbooks away if you decide to watch this movie. Troy, 2004. Troy is a movie that brings Homer's epic poem, The Iliad, to life with a $185 million budget. This movie does a great job of focusing on the gritty reality of war, complete with Rip Dabbs and Brad Pitt as the ultimate warrior Achilles. The film does tend to bend the truth a bit compared to the original myth, but it's not supposed to be a documentary anyway so we can excuse that much at least. And believe it or not, the characters are where the film really shines. Surprisingly enough, this war film is more character-driven than a CGI spectacle. You really feel like you're diving into the hearts and minds of each character, feeling every clash of swords and pang of betrayal. Achilles might be all muscles and rage, but there's more to him than meets the eye. Hector, the Trojan prince, wrestles with duty and family. Helen, the woman who started it all, is more than just a pretty face. The movie beautifully highlights war's impact on humans, the choices they make, and the scars they carry. And mark our words, the battle scenes are pretty epic too. Fight for your children! Fight for immortality! Immortals 2011. Immortals is an unbelievable blend of ancient Greece, epic battles, and Henry Cavill as a badass hero. The story talks about Theseus, an everyday man chosen by Zeus to save humanity from the evil, a king who's on the hunt for a weapon that could wipe out mankind forever. Our hero Theseus, with an army in tow, has to step up and stop the tyrannous ruler before things take a turn for the worse. In typical Hollywood style, this isn't your clean-cut Greek myth retelling. The team takes some creative liberties, but trust us, it's still pretty epic. Sure, the story might seem a bit predictable, but who needs complex writing when you have gods, monsters, and enough action to make your head spin? The real star here is the execution. The visuals are just so damn mind-blowing. Director Tarsim Singh has injected his creative genius into every frame, making Immortals stand out from any other film in its genre. And of course, Cavill absolutely crushes it as Theseus. Seriously, with the dedication, the intensity, and the abs, you won't be disappointed. This might even be one of his best acting jobs yet. Lino Thorax. Hercules, 2014. Hercules, starring Dwayne Johnson, might come as a surprise appearance on this list. Drawing inspiration from Steve Moore's graphic novels of the same name, the story of Hercules is wild and wacky, passing up on the usual dreary atmosphere that we see in most historical films. And what else can you expect from a director like Brett Ratner, a man who's also known for the infamous Rush Hour series? Like most historical Hollywood flicks, the plot of the film isn't what you'd call historically accurate. The movie revolves around its titular hero, Hercules, a demigod who sets off with an odd bunch of mercenaries on the adventure of a lifetime. Together, they are hired by King Codus to lead an army against a tyrannical warlord in a desperate bid for freedom. The most significant rewrite from the original is arguably the hero, who seems to place his humanity at the forefront. We can all admit that this is not Dwayne Johnson's best work, but he pulls off this version of Hercules in a way that no one else can. And his physique? Yeah, we bet you can imagine how good he looks as a Greek demigod. Johnson did receive quite a bit of critical acclaim for his role, 
but many also called the screenplay lackluster. Regardless of the reviews, the popularity of the film speaks for itself and certainly makes it worth a watch. Medea, 1969. P.P. Pasolini's Medea is a truly outstanding interpretation of the wildly popular Jason and the Argonauts. This Italian film has made its way onto our list for brilliantly drawing on different variations of the same story to create a masterpiece. Standing out from the rest of its kind, Medea chooses to focus on the lesser talked about aspects of Greek mythology, like heartbreaks and politics. Our titular character, Medea, is Jason's ex-lover, whom he betrays for a new woman. Seething with hatred and seeking revenge, Medea sets out to destroy everyone whom he knows and loves, even their family. Ultimately, Medea ends his entire bloodline, leaving them behind in a burning pile of bodies in her house while her ex-lover looks on in despair. The fate of his family sealed his unending regret for his actions, due to which he was never able to move on. Opera singer Maria Callas nailed her role, securing a place for herself in the mythical movie's Hall of Fame. Although the film was given high acclaim, it wasn't received well by the audiences and initially flopped. Later in history, it went on to be known as a cult classic. Iphigenia, 1977. The third and best of Mihalis Kakogiannis's Greek tragedy trilogy, Iphigenia is an award-winning, one-of-its-kind adaptation of Euripides' play Iphigenia, Iphigenia in Aulis. The movie, although beautiful, is a pretty typical Greek tragedy. It follows Iphigenia's final days before her father, King Agamemnon, is forced to take the decision to murder her for the supposed victory of his people. His actions mark the beginning of his downfall and the descent of his kingdom. Tatiana Papamoshu, who played the film's titular character, was awarded as the best leading actress for her spectacular performance. And yeah, we all know all of this sounds pretty mundane. So what's the highlight, you ask? It's most definitely the heart-wrenching look into the life of a tragic figure who deserves recognition. The movie also plays with interesting concepts such as morality and faith, giving it further character and complexity. The gorgeous sets paired with the outstanding acting truly make Iphigenia a standout in its genre. This underrated foreign film is definitely worth a watch if you ask us. Percy Jackson franchise from 2010. Okay guys, here's a controversial one. Now to everyone here who's read the books, don't come for our throats because even we know just how bad of an adaptation these films are. But to the untrained eye, these contemporary introductions to Greek mythology might just be the most exciting watch on this list. Also, fun fact, did you know Rick Riordan refused to write the script for the films? He thought that it would take away from his original vision for the characters. That may be a reason why they're practically nothing like the originals. The films fuse a bunch of modern teenagers into Greek mythology in the most easy to understand way. And yeah, while they're not all that historically accurate, they're still a fun crash course into the basics of the ancient religion. Starring Logan Lerman and Alexandra Daddario, the films follow Percy, a regular high school kid who discovers that he's a demigod fathered by one of the most influential figures in Greek mythology, Poseidon. He's relocated to Camp Half-Blood, a secluded training area for others just like him. Accompanied by his girlfriend, Annabeth, and his friend Grover, he then goes on these crazy quests and misadventures. And of course, the rest is history. It's the perfect modernization of Greece's complex history and mythology, served with a side of teen tantrums and modern lingo. Directed by Chris Columbus, the films don't seem to shy away from truly extravagant CGI displays of the Greek gods and monsters. These are another must-watch on our list. O oh Brother, Where Art Thou? 2000. We bet you didn't expect George Clooney's O oh Brother, Where Art Thou? to be an adaptation of Homer's Odyssey, but shockingly enough, it is. 
Its title card claims direct inspiration from the original, too. Although it isn't an exact adaptation, it's an excellent example of a well-executed comparative mythology. The hero's name, Ulysses, is picked directly from the Odyssey. Set in the 1930s in rural Mississippi, the film follows his escapades with his fellow runaway convicts, Delmar and Pete. They set off on a wild goose chase for a hidden treasure while the police are hot on their heels. On the way to their destination, they run into a bunch of mishaps, which make up the greater part of the movie. The film plays out like a satire, and a brilliantly made one at that. The Coen brothers' genius really shines through. Although the story takes inspiration from the Greek epic, which is why we encounter stuff like the Sirens and Cyclops, the setting of the film calls for some significant changes. Set in the Great Depression, the movie also has the prevalent presence of folk traditions from the southern states and a bit of Christian mythology, too. And here's a fun fact. The title of the film is pretty much a direct reference to the 1941 film Sullivan's Travels. Pretty cool, isn't it? The First King, Birth of an Empire, 2019. Matteo Rovere's Italian historical drama takes direct inspiration from the tale of Romulus and Remus. The events that followed the twin Shepherd brothers' birth are widely believed to have led to the birth of Rome. Played by actors Alessandro Borghi and Alessio Lapice, the brothers set out on a journey that leads them to betrayals and the birth of a nation. And here's what's even more remarkable. All the dialogue is in Latin, giving the story an air of even more credibility. One notable thing about the film is its treatment of the Roman aesthetic, which is markedly more barbaric than usual. The film is moody and a little rough around the edges, giving it an epic air of realism. Because of its unusual take on the Roman aesthetic and realistic cinematography, the first king, Birth of an Empire, received great critical acclaim and was nominated for a number of awards making this a must-watch for enjoyers of ancient history, cinephiles, and lit majors. Marvelous Verdict. And that's a wrap, folks. From movies like Jason and the Argonauts and Medea that show us two sides of the same story, to modern adaptations like Oh Brother Where Art Thou and the Percy Jackson franchise, we've covered just about every Greek fantasy movie that's worth watching. If you think we've missed anything, feel free to let us know. Do you have any conflicting opinions on the films on our list? Comment down below. Thank you for joining us on this fantastic journey through Greek mythology. And don't forget to stay tuned for more such content. Until we meet again. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks, everyone.